Oh, yes, and now we're moving to the topic, <laughs> how to use it, how to learn to use it. So um, I started, as I said, in the fall of 2015. I, be, I think I started in the summer, quite panicked about this class. It's the same class. And as it suggests, um, it is best to do it surrounded a complete a class rather than some general way. How do you use Canvas? I think if you adapt it to some specific course circumstance of what you try to accomplish and what you want to accomplish, that's how you learn it step by step. Um, I think I've probably failed in many ways. I find Canvas um, remarkably stepwise and rigid in the sense that you have to set things up very specifically and tick off a fair number of boxes and, and uh, I, you know, stepwise progression as you get something going in it. And once you've got it, I think you, you, you can do it then each time. The problem is that you literally have to do it each time. So in other words, if you set up a discussion section for one week, you have to set it up for 10 weeks. You can't somehow manage, or I can, could never figure out how you could manage to just duplicate that discussion for 10 sections each week. You have to sit down and put it in 10 times. But again, once you've done it, it, it does work remarkably well. Um, and you can learn, I, as I think, step by step with someone like Karen over your shoulder on your computer, uh, figuring out what it is what, that would work best for your class. And I have to say that I, I have had moments of panic, and I, I wasn't kidding about speed dial, <laughs> but it turns out that it's almost always, I almost, almost always have forgotten the same thing, like publishing it and making it publish, or putting in the date twice. The, <laughs> it, yes, so there are integrated tools now in Canvas that were not with Triple E. For example, Turnitin is part of, part of Canvas. But, and you might say, oh, that's a lot easier. It is, except you have to remember to put the due date and due time, due time twice now, not just once. So things like that, just the little, the little niggling tricks that you can pick up eventually that make the, the system, I think, work. So um, I think I mentioned I was part of the early rollout. And so um, there are lots of things I know about Canvas that are no longer true. Um, <laughs> Uh, mostly for the better, right? It's like, you know, uh, I, I was talking with Karen, there was a moment where I was trying to design my class where, like, I literally felt like picking up my computer and throwing it out the window. Like, I was just so frustrated. And finally, I had my TA, who now works at Google, um, you know, I was just like, you know, just, can you just make it work for me, Matt? And, and he, he did that. Um, and so, you know, every once in a while, I'll, I'll ask Karen about something, and she'll be like, oh, no, we have, we have a tool that does that now. Um, and so um, uh, I think, as Kelsey mentioned at the beginning, there's sort of this, this um, there's a list of sort of things that um, are being updated and new tools that are coming online based on, you know, feedback from, you know, well, probably not people like myself, but people like, you know, yourselves, right? Um, uh, the, the, the hard thing is, um, at least from my perspective, it's difficult to know, you know, I don't, uh, uh, some people, you know, they enjoy learning about Canvas just for fun, maybe. Um, I am not one of those people, and so I, I don't want to get all of the updates, right? I just want to know like when the particular problem that I was having with Canvas was fixed. And right as of now, my understanding is there's sort of there's there's no way to to un, to just get the the update for when your particular issue has been resolved. So that's sort of the the good and the bad. There's it's it's much better than when I started, and I don't always know in exactly which ways. To learning to use Canvas, uh, just to share with you, one thing that didn't work well for me was was looking over someone's shoulder at what they did, because I didn't have the background knowledge to know like how to build my course that way. But one thing that helped me immensely was having someone uh, share their course with me or add me as an observer. So then I could go and act as a student and sit by myself at home and just play around and go through all of the things from a kind of student perspective and that then talk to the person afterwards. So I think uh, meeting people who are using Canvas and using it well and in different ways and then asking if you can uh, be an observer on their course and then just kind of play with it and ask questions. That's, that's how I learned. <laughs>